Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the best Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis emulator on your PSP or PSP Go. So all of the links are in the description of this video. The first link will just bring you to this page. It's a um, PSP scene beta page. And basically, um, the emulator is called Pico Drive. As you can see, it was updated in 2017. So this is, you know, the latest emulator you're going to get on the PSP. So um, if you scroll down, it basically just tells you the 2017 version um, fixes. So um, it's got some like, um, you know, fixes like brightness here and stuff like that. Some game performance stuff. Um, apparently the um, sound chips improved for better sound. So if you guys have got an old version of Pico Drive, I'd definitely recommend updating to this. So the second link here is just um, the same link off there, but I've put a few ROMs in it. So what you want to do, you want to go ahead and just download it. So once it's finished downloading, it will only take a few seconds, head over to your downloads folder. You'll be able to find it in there. What you want to do is just do right click and then extract here. So I'm going to give you this file, PSP, go inside of that, go inside of game and pick a drive right here. What you want to do, make sure PSP is connected, go into your PSP's game folder and just paste the pick a drive emulator in there. So you can just check it's in there. It's got a few ROMs in it. If you want to add more, just get them off Emu Paradise or something. So now I'll show you guys um, the emulator actually on my PSP. Okay guys, so once you're actually on your PSP, you can just scroll over to the game section. Keep in mind that you will need custom firmware to actually use this emulator. But just scroll down and it should come up right here. It's actually got a new design to it. It actually looks pretty cool. So just press um, X to open it. So then what you want to do, you want to just press X on load, ROM or ISO, or you can change some options right here. Just press circle on that. So you can change the region. I just keep it on auto, so it's pretty much region free. CPU clock speed, make sure that's on the highest setting. So maybe put it on 345. Um, you know, you can add anything else in here if you really want to. Just press um, X to go back. Um, controls as well and credits. So I'm just going to press circle, load ROM or ISO. Then you want to head over to the ROM folder, press circle on that. Then you can find all your games in here. So let's go with Adam's Family, just press circle to launch it. It's going to launch up 60 FPS down there. So the game just loads up as normal. It runs like full speed, just like a normal game. Um, if you press select, I think you can change some options in here. So I think you can change the display options and then set to full screen zooms, press circle on that, then press X to go back and then back again and there you go, you've got full screen on. Um, you can configure this to get the best output, you know, you can pretty much choose anything you want. But as you can see it actually looks really good. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.